Good evening, Galileans and all of our Facebook family and friends that are joining us this evening. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who does all things well. It is another day that the Lord has spared our lives and we are in eternally grateful for this day. I pray that you have had a blessed day on today and God is still being God. He's still doing marvelous things. He's do, still doing wonderful things. God is still saving. He's still healing and he's still looking out for each and every one of us. I would like to call your attention this evening to one of my favorite passages of scripture I cannot read the entire uh, chapter, but I just want to pluck out uh, several verses in this passage. I'm looking at Romans chapter 8, beginning at the 16th verse. It says, the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. The 17th verse, and if children, then heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified. Verse 18 says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Then look at verse 25. But if we hope for what we do not see, then we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Verse 31, what shall we then say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Verse 37, yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let us bow for a moment of prayer, please. Oh, gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we come with thanksgiving in our, in our hearts and praises on our lips. Father, we are indeed grateful for another day. We thank you, Lord God, that you've allowed us to go to and fro, Lord God, and you kept us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, that those that have gone, Lord God, out to work or or had to go other places, Father. You didn't allow any her, uh, danger to come upon them, Lord, but you allowed them to make it back home safely. And for that, we are eternally grateful. Father, we thank you for those that are tuning in this afternoon, Lord God, those that are watching us from Facebook Live, those that may be tuning in later to YouTube, and those that may be listening from conference call. Lord, whoever they are, you know who, who they are, Father, and you know what each one stands in the need of. So, Father God, we ask you this evening to uh, supply each and every one of their needs that you know they stand in the need of. The very thing that we think that we may need is not what we really need. So, Father, only you know what we really need. So, Father, we thanking you in advance for supplying our every need. Then, Lord God, I ask that you would bless each and every one that is attached to them, Lord God. Bless their homes, Lord God. Bless their spouses, their children, their grandchildren, Lord God. I thank you right now, Lord God, that they are the head and not the tail. They are above only and not beneath, Lord God. 
I thank you, Lord God, for blessing their going out and their coming in, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you have blessed them, Lord God, and you know that you have always stood by them, Father. And I thank you right now, Lord God, and I know, Lord God, that each and every one, Lord God, want to give you reverence and praise and glory this evening because of who you are and whose we are. We thank you, Lord God, for just being the God of all gods, Lord God, the only true and living God. And we say thank you this evening, Lord God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you are doing for us right now. And we are bold enough to say thank you for what we know that you will do, Lord God. You are God that will do right and cannot do wrong. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping us. Thank you, Lord God, for... Uh, uh, for uh, just being the God of all gods, Lord God. And we just thank you, Lord God, for directing our steps, Lord God. You said that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Thank you for ordering our footsteps today, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, when we decided we wanted to go one way and then your Holy Spirit spoke to us and told us to go the other way. Mm -hmm. And Father, thank you, Lord God, that we are obedient to your Spirit when the Spirit speaks, Lord God. We shall obey. Yes. Father, we uh, ask right now your blessings upon this country, Lord, because we know, Lord God, that we have fallen short when it comes to glorifying your name, Lord God. And Father, I ask right now, Lord God, those that are uh, that don't know you in the free pardons of their sins, Lord, I ask right now that you will place someone in their path that will be able to introduce them to you, Lord God. I know, Lord God, that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard of the glorious things, Lord God, that you've got laid up for us, yeah. Lord God. So, Father, give us strength, Lord God. Give us courage, Lord God, and uh, give us peace, Lord God, as we live down in this world, Lord God. We are in darkness, but we are not of the darkness, Lord God, but we are the light of the world. And if we are the light of the world, Lord, you told us that we ought to let our light so shine so that men may see our, our good works and then what glorify you, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that you are being glorified everywhere, Lord God, that you have someone that reverence your holy name. Father God, we ask now that you will bless our pastor as he bring forth the word of God tonight. Father, we pray that you will let him dig down in the storehouse, Lord God, and let him rightly divide the word of truth. We pray, Lord God, that your word will fall on listening ears and receptive hearts. Lord God, let us hide this word in our hearts so that we might not sin against you. Lord, we love you so much this evening. We ask now that you will forgive us of our sins because we know that we have sinned in thought, word, or deed. And Father, you say that when we confess our sins, uh, you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and not only forgive us, but to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We pray right now that you will bless each and every member of Galilee one by one because you know us, Lord God. You even know the number of hairs on our head. And Father God, we ask that you will bless us, not only the Galilee church, all churches that are open in your name, Lord God. Bless the man of God that you have placed, Lord God, uh, behind that pulpit, Lord God, to lead your people, Father. We pray your blessings upon him. We pray for each and every member of those churches, Lord God. We love you, we bless you, and we praise you. It's all in the mighty, the magnificent, and the holy and powerful name of Jesus Christ. We do pray and give thanks. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Coleman. To our, those of who are listening in our audience to this evening, I want to thank you for tuning in. I uh, want to, for a moment, uh, on last Thursday, uh, we buried Sister Willoughby Lee. Uh, we also pray for Brother Milton, Sister Stroud is at home. Uh, I think uh, Miss Davis, Catherine Davis, we pray for her. Uh, pray for all of our sick and shut in. We thank God for. I also want to thank God. Thank you, Jabba John. I thank you if you're listening. Thank you for getting the letter out to you and Secretary, uh, getting the letter out to the congregation. 
letting them know that we're still thinking about them. I want to thank you, all of you, uh, for giving your tithes and offerings through by mail, however you give. But we want to thank you for continuously. There are a lot of churches that are struggling right now uh, because people have lost their jobs. People are not able to give. But Galilee has been blessed. Amen. Uh, so we thank God for you. Tonight I, I want to uh, do a, a little something different from the book of Colossians. I want to look at that 15 verse, but we're going we're gonna to slice and dice this text. But we want to take out this verse. It says, And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Mm. And that's what I want to talk about, and be ye thankful. Amen. Even through this pandemic, the Lord has truly blessed us. Uh, I want to say I was able to get my shots, and many of you were able to get yours. And some of you may not have gotten it, but you're on your way. Uh, but 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 through it all, you hadn't gotten COVID. You may have had COVID, but you've gotten COVID, and God has still blessed you. And you ought to be thankful. I want to go walk through this text, if you don't mind. Look at that third chapter of the book of Colossians. It opens by saying, if ye then be risen with Christ. Mm -hmm. If ye then. Now, I, I like to use the new international version. He said, since then, you have been raised with Christ. Since. Since. There's a time you used to be, but since then. There was a time that you were unsaved. I was unsaved. You were unsaved, but since then. Thank God for sin then. <clears throat> God has blessed us. We are a new creature in Christ. We are Amen. saved. And we ought to be thankful. We've been raised with Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. Risen. Be risen. Now, now in the King James, it says, if ye then. Now, that word if, it can be or it can't be. But if poses a question. But if, if ye then. If you've been risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Amen. Above. Seek things not of this earth, but above. Wait, you set your, it says on later on in the next verse, it says that set those, those things which are above. For Christ sitteth on the right hand of the Father. Our minds ought to be focused on Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. We love things. We're going to have, we want to have nice things, cars, homes, nice things, money in your pocket. Amen. Pastor, you I love to have a little change in my pocket. You love to have that, nothing wrong, but that's not where my affection is. Set your affection on, seek those things which are above. Amen. Then it says, set your affection. In other words, Set your mind on things above. Now, I say this all the time. I've said it many times. The Bible said, the devil wants your mind. It wants to destroy your mind. It wants not, not, to, not, to, not to kill you with your kid, but he wants to destroy your affection. If you're a person that loves God, he wants to destroy your affection on thinking on things above. Amen? He wants to... to, to, to in other words, set your heart on things above where Christ is seated on the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Mm -hmm. All right? Nothing wrong. Here I go. There's nothing wrong with having nice things. But that's not where my affections are. That doesn't take nothing away from God. I love the Lord. Thank you. I say everything I get. I thank God for it. Every car, every house, every, just a home. I thank God for every chair, every light in it. I thank God that he blessed me with these earthly things. But that's not where my affections are. My affections are on the Lord. My affections are on holy things. Amen. Amen. Now, now, for 
This is what it says. It says, ye are dead. Is that right? Ye, verse 3, ye are dead. Huh? You, you are dead. You have died. And your life is now hidden with Christ in God. Look at verse 3. Verse 3. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. And then it says that, well, what do you mean by that? Do you remember baptism? When you got baptized, you got baptized. You see, and you got baptized. You come up, you come up a new Christ, Christian, a new creature in Christ. You're a new person in Christ, but you are dead to the things of the world. Amen? Amen? So, so, so we look at this. It says, ye are dead, and your life is hid in Christ in God. Now, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Amen? We're going to play called glory. Isn't that right? We're going to a place called heaven. Amen? And, and then it says here, look at verse 5. Verse 5 says that, that, that mortify. Huh? Y'all see that? Mortify. Mortify. You, therefore, your members, which are upon the earth. Amen? In other words, put to death. That mortify means put to death, put to death. Therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, then it deals with that. It talks about fornication. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Is that right? Fornication, sexual immoralities, impurities, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because these, these things are the wrath of God is coming. And 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 and, and, and look at that. We it says that 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 for which the things say the wrath of God cometh on. He's coming. The children of to the children of disobedience in which ye also walk sometime when ye live in them. But now watch this. But now we also, or ye also put off. Put off what? Anger. Amen. Wrath. Malice. Blasphemy. Watch this. Talking to a lot of church folk. Feel the communication out of your mouth. Listen to that. I know we don't want to hear that. But sometimes, I, even though we're in the church, we are this, and, and I even preachers, watch the filthy communication out of your mouth. Amen? Then it said, verse 9, that we are not to lie, not to one to another. Seeing that ye have pulled off, you got rid of the old man. Whatever day you say you got saved, whatever day it was, it was Monday morning, Wednesday morning, Thursday evening, you put off the old man, and now you put on new. You put off the old man, which is deeds. You had your deeds. You had the things. All of us uh, 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 had certain things. Uh, when it comes, that's why in, in, in the book, of Corinthians in that 10th chapter said there is no temptation that's coming to man. There's nothing that you done, that I have done, that we have done. We've all done the same, but they're common to man. But God now makes a way of escape. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. So, so he, them deeds, that's them deeds. But now what we have done, since we are born again, since we have been changed, we put on the new man, huh? Mm -hmm. The new man which is renewed in knowledge. The things that I used to do, I don't do them no more. God is also the things that God is still working on me. Mm -hmm. 
He's still working on you, getting better, making you better day by day. After image, you, he wants you to be in the image of him. He wants you to be like him. Amen. Now, while there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision or uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Now, watch this. When, when it says, we put on, therefore, as the elect. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you ain't just, you are elect. Amen. You are the elect of God. God have elect. You are the elect of God. You have put on the new creature. You are the new creature in Christ. You have put to death that which belonged to this earthly nature. You put away the old man. You put it away, and now you are the elect of God. You are the elect of God because you're holy, and beloved, the bowels of mercy, kindness, thanks to God ought to be kind, amen, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering, amen. Now watch this, Here, here's the thing that we have to do as saints, and I know sometimes it can be hard, but it says forbearing one another, amen, we have to forbear one another and forgiving mm, God have mercy one another no matter what somebody done to you don't hold the grudge don't don't hold it you got to learn how to forgive when you seek things above you know that Christ know that 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 you he know that you're healed by the love you have for one another and you can't love one another if you can't forgive one another oh help me somebody Yes, yeah, you, you, if, if a man have a quarrel, watch this, against any, even as Christ forgave you, listen to what it said, so also do ye. Mm. If Christ forgiven you all you done done, and every one of us out there done done something, we ought to forgive others. And above all, listen to this, but above all these things, put on charity, mm -hmm. which is love. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Charity, which is the bond of perfectness. What makes me better? What's molding me? What's making me being, uh, being perfected? I haven't got there, but I'm, I'm being perfected every day. It's by the love that I have for my fellow man. Amen? Mm -hmm. I, and I can't love God unless I love other men, I mean, my fellow man. Amen? You can't love God. If you got anybody out there listening to me tonight, if you got any hate or any malice in your heart toward someone, you need to go to God for forgiveness. Tell, ask God, God, let, let me get, give me that love. Give me, let the Holy Spirit operate in me. Amen? That I can love everybody. That I can forgive and, 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 and have that charity, have that love. And then it says, and let the peace of God. Let the peace of God rule your heart. Mm -hmm. To the which also you are called in one body. We may have different positions, different, but we all are one body and be ye thankful be ye thankful I'm thankful tonight because I'm a new creature in Christ I'm not all I need to be but thank God I'm not what I used to be I'm thankful tonight that that, that, that God has looked even beyond my faults. Mm. And yet he supplied my every need. Yes. I thank God for my family. I thank God for all. I thank God for Galilee. I thank God for all of my friends. Even during this pandemic, I haven't been able to, to do the things and, 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 and what I want to. I normally 
because it hurts when I can't go see members and, and do things. But, but God knows and people should know. But God has still blessed, blessed me and, I'd be, and I'm thankful. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful tonight. I, I want to say this. I have two things. This year, I will be at Galilee 35 years. And I thank God for that. And I also thank God for my wife. My wife and I have been together 50 years, June the 5th of this year. I thank God for that. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can't stay together 50 minutes. But we can, we we'll thank God that we've been together 50 years. Amen. Now, now, here I go, and I'm finna get ready to close. I'm not gonna hold you long tonight, but I'm gonna leave this. It said, let the word of Christ mm. dwell in you. Watch yes. this word. Yes. It says, yes. richly. richly. Amen. It didn't say just let the word of God dwell in you. Mm -hmm. it, he didn't stop there. He said, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Wisdom comes from God. Yes. Amen. You, yes. you can't buy a book to get wisdom. It comes from God. And it says, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns, spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And watch this, and I'm finna go. And said, whatever, so ever ye do in word. Mm -hmm. Or D. Yes. Do it, all Do it all. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, yes. Giving thanks. Thank you, Lord. Those of you listening, just if you don't mind, just wrap your arms around yourself and say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for God uh, uh, and and Father by Him. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, tonight. Thank you, Lord, for just being God and yes. being God all by yourself. Yes, yes. I know you got you you got all power in your hand. Yes, Lord. And I just want to thank you tonight. I want to thank you for every one of you who are listening tonight. Night, God has been so good to you. Yes. And you are not the mind saying thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He been so good to you. He brought you through the rain, through the storms, and he brought you through the through the hard times and, and he given you the best times. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you. Lord. Thank you, Lord. You 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 brought me to 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 from from to to true. And we thank you, Lord. We yes. thank you, Lord. You yes. brought me through the storm and the rain. And and and, and, and I, I know I say I made it, but God, if it had not been for you on my side, mm -hmm. where would I be? Yes, Lord. So I said, thank you tonight. Thank you, Lord. And we get ready to go to my seat. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I, I love you, God. I love you, Lord, for just making ways out of no ways. Yes, yes. I just want yes. to thank you, Lord, through, through, through some times where I couldn't see my way. Yes. But you made a way. I know you, God. I know, I know how, how you're a great God. And I know how mighty you are. Yes. So I just yes. simply said thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God, for just being who you are. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray to my wife. Come on, baby. May God bless you and may God keep you. We love you. Amen. 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 God bless you.